Hi, I'm Stephen Fitzpatrick. I'm the head of Europe, um, Middle East and Africa. I'm delighted to be here today at the ESCRS uh, in Lisbon. Uh, this is a landmark meeting for MST. Uh, it's 10 years since the first introduction of the Malugan Ring. But during the ESCRS conference, Dr. Boris Malugan uh, has been awarded to the uh, uh, Binkhorst Medal Lecture, uh, which is a fantastic award for him to present on uh, as being the uh, inventor of the Malugan Ring. It's also uh, a year on from the introduction of the next generation Malugan Ring called the MAL-2. With the MAL-2, we've made a small difference in moving the gauge of the material from a 4-0 proline to a 5-0 proline. And what that has done is made three significant changes to outcomes for insertion and removal for the surgeons and for patient outcomes. The three movements are the gauge has been smaller, so it makes the tallness of the gap taller, which makes it easier on and off the iris. Secondly, what we try to improve and have is the compression force that is applied to the iris. So that's 80% less than the classic original Mulligan ring. So it's a lot softer on the iris all round. And thirdly, because it's a smaller material, we're able to reduce the size of the injector that it goes through. So we're able to go through two millimetres and above. So one small change makes three great advantages for surgeon control and for better patient outcomes. Also here at the ESCRS in Lisbon, we're really glad to start to show the single piece Allegro Silicon IA. Now this is a revolutionary design. The reason it's revolutionary is it's completely enclosed silicon and there's a cannula inside. What we call it uh, is a dual bend geometry at the distal end of the tip and a port position heading downwards, which gives you great sub-incisional access. If this product was here 15 years ago, by manual, probably in actual fact, would not exist to the degree that it exists at the moment. So it's a great opportunity for control of sub incision with coaxial uh, product. This product goes through 2.2 millimetres and above with two different sleeve combinations. Because it's completely enclosed in silicon, other advantages is that you can go very close to the capsule to polish the capsule without the possibility and worry because most tips that you are used to just now are metal and exposed. And we know through the literature the rates of posterior capsule rupture is more associated to irrigation aspiration. The other great thing with the Allegro will be when you're looking to rotate a toric lens, because it's a tackiness against the optic, you can rotate the toric lens really, really nice and remove the viscoelastic at the same time. And thirdly, with complex cataract surgery, we have what's called the Chang modification uh, capsule retractor. Now these are absolutely fantastic to anchor the capsule bank. So, in terms of patients with pseudo-exfoliation, with Marfan syndrome, for weak zonules, for trauma to the eye, you may use, in actual fact, an iris hook to catch on to the capsule, but it may tear. So, with the opportunity of a, a capsule retractor, it not only contacts at the front end of the uh, anterior capsule, it also goes right down into the equator. You control and you anchor like a ship, and it allows you to do your procedure as if it was just a normal phaco procedure. I joined uh, MST uh, three years ago, and uh, since that introduction, the market has been growing steadily for small pupil expansion with the Malugan ring, for the capsule retractors in complex cases, uh, and also with the irrigation uh, aspiration and the level of uh, products that we have, the market has been growing at a steady rate.